to lesson three. One of my favorites. Charlie plants a garden. Now I say to them the week before, or even that morning when I come in, we're going to plant a garden today, but it's not a real garden. It's going to be a paper garden. Did you ever plant a garden? And many times in their classrooms, they've already did a little, they've already done a little paper cup with seeds in it. And so they have a little idea. Some of them have done huge gardens with their families. A couple of children have had families that run a farm. So they have some sense of it. But I asked them about the different kinds of farms that they know about. And usually they're thinking about cows and chickens and animals. And so um, most of them don't talk about a vegetable garden. And just about none. I don't think any child has ever talked about a flower garden. But I try to, again, point out that there are other kinds of gardens. But today we're going to be talking about a vegetable garden. And so we go through the story. Charlie's teacher tells them that the city has given them some land across the street from the school where they can plant a vegetable garden. And so that's what they're going to do. And they're all excited. They have to decide what they want to plant. Well, Charlie's grandmother's family always planted corn. And she told Charlie how wonderful and sweet and delicious it was. So Charlie decides to plant. He wants to plant corn. And his friend Rosie is going to plant cabbage, I think. Yes. And his friend Michael chooses tomatoes. So each of them is choosing a different vegetable that they're going to plant. And their teacher then gives them all little paper cups. And they cut out a picture of the vegetables. And they then, it tells them step by step how to plant the cup. And this is something I review with the children. First they put in some dirt. Then they put in a seed. Then they put some more dirt on top. Then they water it. And then they put it on the windowsill. It doesn't specifically say they put it in the sun, but that's the idea. Now, it also says that Charlie's planting corn, and the next page will say that Charlie decided when, they, when the plants are big enough, he will put his at the back of the garden. At that point, I will say to the children, who's the tallest one in your class? And the tallest child will stand up. I say, come on over here and stand up. And who's the smallest in your class? And the smallest one will come and stand up, and I'll have the two of them face the window, or wherever the sun might be coming from, with the taller child standing in front of the small child. And I'll say, OK, sun, 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 sun. Who's getting all the sun? And of course, the tall child, apparently, they can see that the tall child's probably going to get all the sun, and the little child in the back isn't getting any. So I have them reverse positions, and then I say, sun, sun, sun. And then they can see that probably both of the children are going to get some sun. And then I start to talk about the corn, and the size of some of the plants, and the fact that Charlie's choosing to put the tall corn at the back of the garden because then it will not block the smaller plants that are growing in the, in the front. So someone has carrots, someone has tomatoes, someone has peppers. And so when they're big enough in their little cups, they go out, they plant them in the garden in neat rows. And by the way, they always plant them all the same kind of vegetable goes in the same row, but they plant them in very neat rows. And eventually, there's corn and vegetables for everyone to pick and to bring home. And it's the most delicious thing ever. And they are so excited that they can eat what they planted. Now, the activity on this is a virtual garden, a plant planting space with five rows in it for them to plant five kinds of vegetables. And I say to them very often, because I'm such a smart aleck, do you like, nobody likes stickers in this classroom, do they? And they all say, yeah, I do. And so we have these really colorful stickers. And there are five different kinds of vegetable. And I'll say to them, how many of each one do you see on there? And they'll count them. And there are four of each vegetable on this sticker sheet. And there are five different vegetables. Now, the other thing, first of all, I ask them to tell me what they are. And they can recognize them, and they usually will say that this is lettuce. Well, it's actually cabbage for this lesson, so we'll talk about cabbage. And then we'll talk about the fact that some of these vegetables, carrots and radishes in particular, don't grow above the ground like corn does. They grow under the ground, and the only part that you see above the ground is the green part. So I tell them. First of all, we're going to put the stickers in. We're going to plant them in our garden. You cannot put more than one kind of vegetable on one row 
So if you decide, you can decide which one is the first row, if it's tomatoes or corn. But if you put tomato, then all your tomatoes have to go in that row. If you put corn, all the corn has to go here. But when you plant the radishes and the carrots, the radish should be below the dirt and the green part should be above the dirt because that's the way they grow. And the same thing with the carrot. The, green, the carrot goes below and the green part goes above the line. So once again, we don't want them to just stick stickers on a paper. It would be good for them to learn that a real garden has some interesting little things about it. Now the other thing that they will do sometimes is because they get so into the sticker part of it, they put one here and one here and one here and they've got another sticker and they don't know whether to put it on the bunny or here. So you want to tell them, you know, kind of guide them and the teacher will be there to help to try and plant them next to each other so that there's not, you know, they're not on top of something else. They can certainly put it in between things or whatever, but anyway, you want them to try and be as neat as they can so that they learn that a garden has to be planted in a certain way. That's their take-home thing for the day. They can bring home their garden. <laughs>